And only a person that is holding himself in his mind, in that understanding that he is willing to experience this moment that he is with Hashem forever, now, no matter which moment, a moment of happiness and also a moment of sorrow, he sees the good in it and his vessels are willing to accept that individual supervision of the Creator on him, to hug that moment and to experience it forever because he knows that it's Hashem. So then that person lives eternal life in this temporary world because he cut himself from the limitation of time. He brought himself to a higher level. He brought himself to be beyond time by connecting himself to the divine will, to the will of Hashem, that Hashem Ibarach wants just to be with you forever. And that's what the Hashem Ibarach is doing. So when you accept that moment with Hashem forever, you being attached to Hashem face to face. That's what it means, panim el panim. Face in face. That your face and the face of Hashem Ibarach are one. When? When you are mekabel panim, you accept his face. Let's say that there is a king that is coming, so everyone wants to accept his face. That's how we say, to, to, to receive his face, to see him. What's going to be the result of that? That you are receiving his face. Means that his face become to be your face. That your face are redesigned, reshaped, remodeled, to become like the clean and bright and great face of the Creator. He's sharing with you His beauty and people that will look at you will see the beauty of the Creator in your face. That's the level of those righteous people that nullify themselves completely to Hashem and accepted on themselves the will of Hashem one while they were climbing, once while they were going down, it doesn't matter, there is no difference. <coughs> because Hashem, like that we said that He's beyond the time, He's also beyond the place. He's beyond all the physical limitations. So He's beyond everything that is physical in this world. And the mission of this world is also to go out of that shape, to go out of that bubble, from that power of imagination, that it's only an imagination that is separating us from Hashem because really we are 100% with Him and only because that He is just 100% with us. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks.